Hello and welcome. My name is Heidi Scheidel and this is a tutorial on using historic Oregon newspapers in the classroom. This is a guide for K-12 through educators. The learning outcomes for this tutorial are to locate and adapt lesson plans to meet the Oregon Common Core State Standards, to utilize the advanced search functions on the website Historic Oregon Newspapers, and to collect clippings and save persistent links. Now why newspapers? Well, because the Common Core is preparing students for college, the ACRL is a great place to start with the Framework for Information Literacy for Higher Education. The framework states, experts understand the need to determine the validity of the information created by different authorities and to acknowledge biases that privileges some sources of authority over others, especially in terms of others' worldviews, gender, sexual orientation, and cultural orientations. An understanding of this concept enables novice learners to critically examine all evidence and ask relevant questions about origins, context, and suitability for the current information need. Now we're going to learn how to locate and adapt lesson plans to meet your curriculum. We first start on the Historic Oregon Newspapers homepage and go to K-12 Resources. And we go one link further. On the K-12 Resources page, you can find Oregon Social Science Academic Content Standards and English Language Arts in the Common Core. Let's take a look at Social Sciences for Grade 4. Here we see Social Science Core Standards with links to lesson plans in red. Let's take a look at Abigail Scott Dunaway and Women's Suffrage. The lesson plans include applicable standards, materials, key vocabulary to use in searches, lesson plan, activities for which the student can put skills learned into practice, then resources and background. At the bottom of the page, we have a comment section. Here you can share information about what worked, what didn't work, how you adapted it, and anything else. Now we're going to download the PDF and take a look at that. These can be used as templates, so they're not set in stone. They offer an elaborated version of what's available on the website, and there are handouts included at the end of the document. Now let's take a look at how we can adapt a lesson plan to meet any grade level. We can start at corestandards.org, click on English Language Arts Standards, and then click on Reading Informational Text. Because each criteria builds up with each grade level, you can locate the standard on the lesson plan PDF and adapt it based on the grade level. Here's an example of how you can adapt the standard on the lesson plan from one grade level to the next. You can see that with grade 4 we're explaining the text, while in grade 11 through 12 we're analyzing it. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Oregon Social Science Standards. We're going to start at the Oregon Department of Education website and then click on Teaching and Learning. From there, we're going to go to Subjects and then Social Sciences. Now here we can find the standards and do the same thing. Here we're looking at the Oregon Social Science Academic Content Standards. Here we have the lesson plan in the middle, and we can go from Grade 4 with Explaining to High School with Analyzing. Now let's utilize the Advanced Search function for Dunaway and Suffrage. Starting at the home page, we'll go to Advanced Search. All newspapers is a default, or you can select which ones you want. The dates are specific to the year or to the day with the date range. Now our choices at the bottom are any, all, and phrase. Any will retrieve words with done away, suffrage, or both. All will retrieve only pages with both. Phrase will retrieve only in the order in which you type them. In the last box we can do a proximity search and we can look for done away and suffrage within 5, 10, 50, or 100 words from another. Here are our results. Now let's take a peek at one of the pages. Notice that the red highlights are our search terms. If you want to get rid of those, you can click on the persistent link on the bottom of the screen. Now to zoom in and out to read, I recommend using the plus and minus signs. If you don't do that, you're going to have some issues with going in and out. On the right, you see a box. That's our viewer window and you just move that box to read the story. The last we're going to learn how to create a clipping. First we want to put in the frame what we want to be in our clipping. We might have to zoom in or out and move our viewer window in order to get what we want. Now we have choices of PDF, JPEG, or the scissors. The scissors create a new window with a clip and you have a persistent link that takes you to that exact clip. Thank you so much for viewing and have a great day.